Welcome back to CNJ's Fishing, and today I will be doing a tackle review on, um, I'm, I'm going to be going over all my tackle, so let's get into it. First of all, I mean, what I use for all my tackle, it's actually just an old backpack, old Under Armour, it's got a bunch of, uh, got a divider here, put stuff, that's where I put my, um, my cases, got a bunch of little pockets, that's what I use, I'm actually, I'm going to be ordering an actual fishing backpack soon, but let's get into it. So first of all, some, some, let's go over some tools. So you gotta have, I think, like to carry a fishing knife with me, um, just in case you know if I if I'm pan fishing, want to bring some and clean them if I'm if I'm keeping any. Some needle nose pliers. Um, I like to keep a fish scaler. Once again, if I'm keeping and I'm gonna plan on doing like a catch, clean, and cook kind of thing. Some uh, some wire snips. Screwdriver, you never know when you're going to have real problems. You're going to have to take anything apart and fix it. Um, and then I've got a um, a fish, you know, for, for getting the hook out here. Very important to have for when they swall fortunately swallow the hook. Um, let's see. So, always keep a couple fish stringers with me, all times. Got to have the, sunk, the, uh, the old uh, 60 FPS. Around those June and July days when it is very hot. Gotta have the sunscreen. Gotta have a good pair of uh, shades. Let's go over some hooks that I like to keep with me. So, always keep... Got some, some little jig heads here for some swim baits and some other different soft plastics. like to have for pan fishing just some, uh, some straight... Uh, I don't even know what these are called. Some, some pan fishing hooks. For my Texas rigs, I use a, normally I use a three or four aught offset worm hook. Got plenty of those. Couple, I got a couple EWGs. I think this is a four aught. I prefer a four aught. Um, got a ton of, uh, ton of barrel swivels. Always have, keep a couple bobbers with you at all times. Me, I like the Texas rig, so very important. Worm weights, bullet sinkers, whatever you want to call them. Um, half ounce is what I like. But um, hooks, that's hooks. Um, I also like to keep some, I never use them, but some pre rigged little um, snailed hooks for pan fishing. Also, some J hooks for when I'm fishing for. Carp and catfish, which is very rare, but always handy to have in your arsenal. Scale. Everyone's got to have a scale. This is actually brand new. My buddy, Colin, he uh, he got this for me for my birthday. Have not used it yet, but good, simple little scale. Everyone's got to have a good, reliable scale for when you hook into that nine pounder. Okay, let's go over some... Crankbaits now. Crankbaits, jigs. Um, I've got a ton of football head jigs. I'm a, I'm a big jig guy. I love the jig. Here's one of my newest ones. Got the, uh, the nice skirt on it. Pretty trimmed. Nice sharp hooks. Weed guard. Very good jig. A couple, couple smaller ones. Another one here in blue and black with a, I actually have a little purple trailer on there. A little grub with some legs on it. So, some of my crankbaits. Now, once again, I don't have the biggest arsenal, but I have a couple things. This is a old Bagley in that, like, tiger, tiger pattern. Another Bagley E2. The nice orange bottom. I'm trying to imitate perch. This is just great for throwing. Every guy who fishes for largemouth has got to have a jitterbug. Old school jitterbug. Love it. This one, I believe it's a 13 fishing, um, one of their crankbaits. I forgot the name of it, but deep diver here. Giant bill on it. Little, uh, little Berkeley one, which I use for imitating shad. Here is an old LNS float bait. Which I actually have not thrown, but um, everyone, everyone that fishes knows what this is. It's a Bill Lewis rattle trap, 
Love the uh, flipless. Here I've got a Berkeley popper. A little popper here. I have, I have thrown this. I have not caught anything. And a one of Berkeley's jerk baits for great for shad. When the um, in the fall when the bass are chasing all the shad up to the shore, really active, comes in handy. Never fished it, but I got a little got a little crawl here with a little belly weight. I know me Texas rig if I fish crawls. On to the next. Here we go. We've got I've got got a ton of topwater frogs. The big frog frog guy. Get around the lily pads, the slime. Throw the frog. Got got the white there, got the, the brown. I've even got let's see if I a little little cupped popper frog. So like that. And the booyah pad crasher. Have not thrown this yet. Um cannot wait to get out and throw this. Um, I also got these great for crappie, panfish, um, really perch, anything like this. These little, um, uh, I don't even, these little creature baits. Love these. Got the tail on them. Got the, j the jig head. Great. Never use these, but these little, little poppers here might do some, I would like to, if we throw for some, these would, the pike would smash these, guaranteed. Love those. Not a big spoon fisherman, but um, I've got, you know, I'm not even gonna try. You know the treble hooks are kinda tough. Got some, some different spoons here, like that. I've thrown this one before, that like tiger pattern. Got some some cool, um, some old school um, creature baits with a little, little spinner on the front. Got one there like in bluegill pattern. One here in a perch. Cool things. Never thrown those, but maybe I'll uh, do a video with those. On next, let's look at some of my soft plastics. Love soft plastics. I'm a big soft plastic guy. Power bait. One of Berkeley's power baits. They're, they're swim shad. The bellied weights. Love these. If you if you're a Texas rig guy, you gotta have the yum dingers. This one in green pumpkin. I've got a pack in just the standard black. Here is a um uh, uh, white belly, black top. These ones, another watermelon seed. Love those. Green pumpkin, my personal favorite. Bass Dynasty. Have not used these. Very interesting design here called the Dyna Paddle. It's got a little paddle tail swim bait on each side. Very interesting, unique. Big bites, big bite baits. Kind of a little creature bait, little craw here. Aha, the Rage Tail Menace. Use these for chatter bait trailers. Love these. Some old culprit ones. Have not even opened those. Those are my, those are some of my sauce. Once again, not the biggest arsenal, but. They work. Next, my I'm sure you got some of my spinner baits. I'm a big spinner bait guy. That is my confidence lure. If I'm not catching anything, I'm gonna start flipping a spinner bait, especially in the fall. Got the case, very handy. Spinner bait case. I think you can you can fit like twenty something in these. Got a couple Berkeley ones. That is a giant spinner bait, which I actually never. I've thrown a couple times, but I do not throw that one. I'm more of a, um, I like the, the small, compact spinner baits. More of like that Colorado Blades on there. Love that one. Uh, chartreuse. I like this one. I'm a big fan of Willow Leaf, too. Love the Willow Leaf Blades. I've actually got a couple, couple buzz baits. Very handy. Got one in white. I've got... One in black. My first spinner bait bass came on this. Look at this little guy. Tiny little guy. The little single Indiana blade on there. Love the tiny compact setup. A little bit of a larger one here. Colorado's on it. But yeah, that's my spinner baits. That is going to conclude our video. 
and we I will be doing a rod and reel review on some of my combos and uh, like subscribe subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one CNJ's fishing